What's up everyone, today I'm here with my friend Ace Design and we'll be running a few tests to prove or debunk the catch-up mechanic in rocket racing. For those of you that haven't heard of this yet, it basically means that for everyone not in first place, they will have a hidden speed boost to help them catch up to the leader and give them a chance to stay in the race. What I mean by hidden is that even though your speedometer says a certain number, for example 570, you're actually going faster than that. We'll be doing two different kinds of tests. The first one we'll be doing several times, and in the first test I have Ace drive forward and stop after going past a few checkpoints while timing herself. Afterwards, I'll drive to that same checkpoint in order to catch up to her and time myself to see the differences in our times, if any. Where the, we will then swap roles, where I go first and stop at the checkpoint, and then she drives to catch up to me. And then we'll check time differences again. Now, in this first test, we did realize that we, we didn't have the best idea on how to stay on the same path, but we fixed that in the later tests by making sure that we stay on the white line in the center as best as possible. When all the tests are done, I'll tally all of the results and I will display them on the screen at the end so you can see our times and time differences and all of that. Enjoy! Also, for all of these tests that we do, we are trying to make sure that we do not use any boost and we drift the least amount possible. That way we can just maintain the most consistent speed and have the most consistency throughout the tests. Catch-up mechanic is supposed to apply, you know, when they're ahead of you, you know, so. Um, I went four checkpoints down. That was about like 47 seconds. Okay. Then I'm going to start my timer and we'll see how long it takes me. By the shark thing on the canyon wall. <laughs> I didn't see you on. I really didn't think about. Yeah. You know, like I probably should have said, stay as close to the middle of the road as possible. But um, I was in the. I was relatively in the middle. I definitely wasn't like. Cut I drifted before. slightly, probably at the same time you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. It was um. It was by the hazards early. Did you take the tunnel or go underneath? I went underneath. Okay. Good. 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 Yeah. Because it definitely would have drifted me if it went up there. Alright. <laughs> I hit 41 seconds getting here. Okay. That's interesting. What did you hit? Uh, 47. So that's 6 seconds difference. Wow. So I got there. Okay, we're... Yeah. We're gonna have to read... We're gonna have to do this test several times. Or, yeah. Okay. Alright, here I yeah. go. Yeah. Dude, if it's true, I swear. It's gonna be crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm already freaking out with like six seconds difference. That's nuts. Unless you're just better at what right trigger driver. But keep like, an eye, keep an eye on your speed too, because I'm at, I'm at like 615 right now. Right. Steadily gaining, holding down right trigger, so you mm. know it's like. I'll watch my speed for, since I'm the one to own. The only place right. you're permitted to drift is that one little turn. You'll know the right. one, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's okay as long as you don't do too big of a drift. Right. All right, I hit 45 on that one. Okay, let me redo my timer and then start driving. Again. Um, about 560 climbing. Do you see it or no? Yeah, it just stops me at 615 20 or... Yeah, that's about what it was doing with me. Let me know whenever you're ready. 5, 2, 7, 7, 5. That's 40 seconds, Brantley. 40s, that's a five second difference. That's still, yeah, that's still a significant difference. Yeah, that's And it was, it was huge. capped at 614, 614, 615 kilometers per hour. I think it's real. <laughs> I, I, think, I honestly think it's real. Um, did you hit a drift on that one turn? Yes. Uh, How about what speed did you get up to? Did you notice? And uh, to be honest, Bradley, I hit the side where oh, these little things are yeah. yeah. for a little bit, and I still was at 40 seconds. Do you like? Because I accidentally, like, right before the hazard hit that. And I'm still, I still went 40 seconds. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. That's nuts. 
Dude, you did hit that drift though, right? This? Yeah, I did. Yeah. So there's gonna be that little... Wow. Little <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um... We're going to repeat that first test a couple more times, but before we do, we want us to do the second test now. Just like in the previous one, we are not using any boost and are doing our best not to drift at all. We will be completing a full race, but she will start one full lap ahead of me. I'm trying to see if I can catch up to her even when she is a full lap ahead. I do start off by accidentally drafting on her, but I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference. Let's see what our times are at the end of the race. Uh, Alright, so this is the end of lap two. I'm not hitting any of the boost pads either. I don't see you at all behind me, though. I'm just jumping the hazard. So I You're just to... jumping the hazard? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. And then, were you hitting the green boosters? No, no green boosters. Okay, that's what I was doing too. I avoided them. So I'm like, okay. You capped it. What'd you say you capped at? Like 620? No, I'm at 638 at the moment. Okay, because oh, I, I, was, I was at 650 yeah. just then. Oh, we're still going upwards. 646. All right, so our speedometer is pretty accurate, close. Where are you at on the map? Uh, oh, I hit a hazard. Uh, I'm at like... Gosh, right where the tunnels first start. Hmm. By the shark that we stopped at last time? Yeah. See if I add? I'm not gonna add it. I hit a hazard. Or not I mean, I hit Azure too, so that's actually better. Um, so you're finished now, right? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't catch yeah, up yeah. to you. No. Hmm. Two second gap. Oh, that's no, interesting. Gap. There's yeah. a 20 second gap there. Yeah. But that's still a huge gap. Listen though, it took you how it takes over to get to that one checkpoint where we initially stopped at, right? Mm -hmm. That took 47 seconds, which means a full lap is going to take about a minute. Mm -hmm. You were a full lap ahead of me, and I was only 20 seconds behind. So yeah, that's so true. You should have been a full minute ahead of me. I should have. In, it definitely, in theory, I should have been a full minute. Ahead. Okay, now we're going to repeat that first test a couple more times, so we have a larger sample size for it. I will also have her POV for these tests, and after these are over, I'll show all the times together on screen. It's like milliseconds, it's not going to change right. anything. You know, if there's if there's not a significant difference, that shouldn't change anything. But, um... Yeah, we'll stick on the middle line. I'll stop up there, we'll time yours, and then, um... We'll do the one lap ahead. All right, forty eight point six four, almost forty nine. Right, I'm I should have just completely line. stopped there, but oh well, it should be fine. I hit a drift, but I like light tapped the brake as if it didn't happen. That's fine. I hit like a the tiniest drift yeah. in my life too. It didn't even put me above 600, so I wasn't too Same. worried about it. At 42 seconds. That's a six second difference. Yeah, I actually, it's a six second difference again. What so was I'm, the? I'm pretty dang sure. Yeah, we missed multiple times. Yeah, 42. Point what was it? It was like 42.24. 
Mine was 48.64. So, yeah, mm-hmm. 6. Point, yeah. 6.4 mm-hmm. difference. All right, um, let's finish the lap, and I want I want to do it one more time on my end where you go up there and then I go to you. Right. Just that way we've done each test like three times, you know, with consistent results. So I'm going or you're going? Sorry. Uh, you go. You go to that checkpoint, and then I'll catch up. Mm-hmm. And then see what our times are. I hit the side wall. Right I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's go. Are you ready? I'm fixing to start my stream. Oh, I haven't started. Basically, my time is null and void because I hit the side wall twice. <laughs> Uh, I was not focused. We can do it. Just finish the lap then, and we can read, and you can go back up there. Yeah, I'll probably just finish that. I mean, worst case scenario, I get an even quicker time, right? Because it exists. Right. <laughs> this just means you're what two laps ahead of me then. I like not hit the wall. That would be great. <laughs> It'd be great if I would not hit the wall. He's yelling at me for the last lap. Mm. Don't do that. Seconds. 49 seconds. All right, here I go. And you're two laps ahead of me now, so. Yeah. Worst case scenario is I end up even quicker. Even quicker would be absolutely. Just, yeah. I don't, <laughs> I don't see myself getting quicker than uh, 40 seconds, though. I had a tiny drift, but I tapped the brake to make up for it. Yeah, I had a tiny drift, but it didn't like do anything. <laughs> I also hit a hazard. I also hit a hazard because I forgot to jump. <laughs> I mean, either way, you should be in theory faster. Forty seconds. Yeah. So that's a nine-second difference. That's that's a hundred percent. And I hit hazards. Yeah. No. <laughs> so you just this definitely proved that. Yeah. All right, and here are the total times for the test we ran. Um, as you can see, when we were not in first place, we definitely had quicker times getting to that one checkpoint. And when we did the test the second time, even she was more than a full lap ahead of me. She was almost two full laps ahead of me. And the time difference was nine seconds instead of roughly six seconds for the other times. So I definitely believe the catch-up mechanic exists, especially when we did the full race and... Uh, the time difference when we finished the race, even though she was an entire lap ahead of me, the time difference was only 20 seconds between us finishing when it takes 40 seconds just to get to that checkpoint, and she was further than that. So it should have been at least 40 seconds or 48 second difference, and it was only a 20 second difference between us. I really believe the catch-up mechanic exists. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Give the video a like and a share. Let me know if you're going to use this to your advantage with any strategies. I can certainly think of a few off the top of my head. Um, and let me guys know if you like it or dislike it or what you think about it. Because I can understand that some people aren't going to like it. Because, you know, it's like being in first place and not messing up is almost, you know, being punished. Because the other people can just catch back up, you know. I will say that I never caught up to her doing the full race if I was boosting and drifting, you know then you definitely have to work for it, but I think that's where it really comes into play because when you hit the 12, 1300 miles an hour, you might be going 1800 
You know, there's no telling. So the catching up, uh, catch up mechanic there might really play a difference when you're boosting. And these times could drastically change. It may not be six seconds. You know, it could be 10, 12 seconds for all we know. There's no telling. But let me get, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank y'all so much for watching. Give my friend Ace Design a follow on Twitter and Twitch. Her links are going to be in the description below. Uh, thank you again, Ace, for helping me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.